Right, welcome back. Today we are looking into the Beretta 92. Uh, it's a 177BB uh, CO2 gun from Umarex, and I'm just going to take you through. Right, so let's get rid of this tatty old box. So this is um, a bit of a retro one, isn't it? Yeah, this was actually one of my old ones. Uh, been sold and gone around the about and few people are at it. Um, let me just empty this mag. Did you know if this leaks or not? Or? I got a clue, Dad. That's right. been sitting there for years, mate. That'll be um, interesting to find out. Well, right, so this was, I gather, Beretta's attempt of updating their old Model 92 pistol that they brought out early 80s, I think it was. Um, it's got a bit of a more modern style into it. you still got the exposed barrel like the original, um, but it's a little bit different design on the slide here. And they've upgraded it by putting a picky rail on the bottom, which is a pain to get off. Show sure, sideways where that does so we can see. Um... So you've got this little cover on here, and that covers the underbow Picatinny rail, like so. Looks way better without the cover, but you know, I suppose these are quite rare nowadays so what we've got here we've got fake uh, safety mechanisms because that's where your safety would be that's hair it's fake food guys it's food it's fake it's food it's fake <laughs> so your safety is there I've got to try and remember where all all the things are on the opposite side because I can't see is it blowback guys or not no no I don't think so oh actually no might, might be I think that's front block and the pellets in it when they slide back like that. Yeah, it might be. Um, but yeah, the mag release works. Like, that's one of the main things that actually look and function properly. Um, all these things on this side, like your, what you'd slide out for your take out to take it down and strip it and clean it, they're all fake, obviously. Um, Metal plastic? Mainly plastic. I think the there might be a lot of metal covering for the barrel, but that's mainly plastic. I feel quite weighty though, don't I? It's not, yeah. like, it's not like a cheap lightweight plastic. Is I it? think most of the weight actually comes from the magazine. That is this. a good quality mag, actually. Yeah. looked at that, uh, replacing the seal in case it did leak, but that tool I bought wouldn't, wouldn't fit down inside. No, because so you need uh, the pins, do you? It's like tape, but so you'd have to take that apart. Another job for the seal. So, what we're going to do, because I am probably fired this for like. 10 15 years put some gas in it i think we'll just use a seal pro straight away because sure, right. this, this yeah. and uh yeah, yeah. There we go. so they've still got the classic like beretta style grips like the silhouette of the gun is pretty much similar the trigger guard is slightly different but other than that this is Basically, a modern Mighty Two. That's one of the better looking guns out there, to be honest. Yeah. It's sort of old schooly looking. Is that a twist thing, fam? You don't yeah. need uh, Alan Key or nothing? No, this is a. So, should we have used a seal pro? Of first? course, we should have. We'll ah, you didn't put any grease on it. Should we no. do that at least? Come on, Get your grease out. Get my grease. More grease pot. If anyone's wondering, that's just silicone grease. Put on a tube and squished into a sponge, and then you just dab your. Dab and you get a, get a little sheet fish tub to put it into. Right, there we go. Intriguing, intrigue time. Oh, oh, sails. It's looking good. Oh. Safety off. 
Sounds powerful. Let's make my guitar ring. Yeah, there. see what I see with the guitar in it. So we've got the crony head there. So if we buy yeah. one of them balls, you better. So I think what's grains and that on there, mate. I oh, will set the crony up, and that'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm guessing about one and a half pound, two maybe. Probably should have put the lid on, start the ball rolling off, but... Ooh, look at that. 5.2 grains. 5.2, I'll well, set that up on the crown. A bit heavier than I expected, has he? Yeah. 5.2? Yeah. 5.2 grains on the crown. Just so, uh... Just so... Well, you know we're not cheating. Look at that. It's not the best look. 5.2 grains. Oh yeah, and just to let you know how to load this one, there's a ball bearing cut out like near the bottom once you compress it all. And then you just put uh, you can drop your balls in. You can just roll them down and they'll drop. Which is one of the better loading systems. What I'll do guys is um spin that towards you <coughs> and get the camera on it. Yeah. Obviously don't just right near the microphone now. Um, yeah, I'll just shoot it like this. <laughs> and, uh, just stick your arm out there, mate, yeah. and I'll see if I can catch you on camera. So, no. right, we're going to shuffle the camera around. Right, I think that's all right. Sure? Yep, take it away. One five nine. One eight two. Yeah, hovering about the one and a half foot pain mark. Right, well, oh. that, and that'll give us a shot count and an average. Yeah. An average, an average. So, I'm not sure if I was blurred or not, I should have grabbed the other glasses, but I'll just read off the crony. We have got six shots, power factor of one, whatever that means. Average foot per second, 1.63. That's pretty. Average feet per second. So it's just over. One half. Oh, foot pound driver, sorry. Yeah, foot pound. Average foot pound, 1.63. Average velocity, 3.76. Minimum, 3.60. Maximum, 3.97. Deviance of 37. SV, I don't know what that is, 13. Anyway, so, 1.67 foot pounds. So I wasn't far off, I yeah. guessed around one and a half. So, uh, well, if the, not bad. If the rain stay away, I might run in the back garden and go to the range and just empty a mag. We could do that now, mate, if you want to fill them out. Yeah, yeah. We can soon rip the camera off. Take away, Dice. Yeah. And another thing I forgot to mention I like about these is the, the iron sights. Yes, very clearly marked, aren't they? Very clearly marked, and that's one thing I'd have liked the vapor I think the three dark white dots are brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see what this baby looked like in action. Trigger reset on it. Yep. Come on, Dad, you got any of them tens or what? Yeah. yeah. It's literally going in between the two tins. <laughs> I can see the ball just sliding in between the two tins constantly. What, what I would say, mate, that's quite a long range for yeah. BB uh, this that, that, was, uh, that was actually hitting slightly high. Oh, like right. to where I was aiming, so it's got a good range on it. Good fun to shoot. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to rag it up so you can? Uh, yeah, go on.